Hey, welcome guys, my name is Kevin Jones and this is the beginning 100 video series here on YouTube. My goal with this program is to educate you and inform you on everything you're gonna to need to know about becoming a new hunter. So this is gonna be part three of the introductory video series to Onyx Maps. This will be focusing on what I like to call the open source aspect of um, hunting research. This is where you're gonna utilize things like Google and um, a variety of other platforms to find information that will drive how you um, how you actually go out and pursue these animals. So what I like to call this is, this is information driving operations, right? So this is you finding information and taking that, working with it, putting it on the Onyx map that we've been working on to drive your operations, to drive what you actually do in the field, where you actually choose to go, where you actually choose to uh, pursue these animals at. So this is really important. This is one of the most important parts of this is um, finding people that have hunted this area before, finding things um, that you did not know about this area, um, and go out and search for information, glean that information, and incorporate that into our mapping system, so that way you know where to go. So that way you have a higher probability, and you're statistically better off looking for these animals in a place where people have found success before. So, yep, uh, so we're gonna start on this. Again, this is the open source aspect of our uh, hunting research, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're back here in the Oahu unit in Oregon. Um, just to bring up the speed, I would uh, recommend that you follow this video series in order. So this is um, the third video in the series. Um, I suggest watching one and two so you have an idea of what we're doing here. Um, but if you are a rebel and you don't want to watch the first two, what you can do is uh, just understand that this is a scenario that we're built in. Uh, this is Unit 67 in Oregon. You can see it right here. And what we're doing is we're using Onyx Maps to try to narrow our search down um, as if we were going to be trying to hunt deer here for the first time. And um, so Onyx Maps, uh, we the first two videos we covered map tools, which are up here, map layers, stuff like that. And now we're gonna be shifting in what I like to call the open source research aspect of hunting a new area. So what that means is that we are going to be looking and, to, um, and trying to connect with people who've hunted this place before. Um, because if you can, even if you've never had boots on the ground, there are a lot of people that hunt this unit. I'm sure of it. And if I can try to connect with those people, um, share information, um, and try to um, get an understanding of general areas to focus on, that would be more ideal, right? That would increase my odds. So I would have a statistically better chance of focusing on areas that people have found success in before than if I would have just drove in, parked my truck, and hopped out and walked around. Um, so what I like to do is, before I even put boots on the ground, understand where I'm going to be going and um, what my odds are. So open source. What that means is using something like this. Um, some of you might be familiar with a little thing called Google. So Google um, is going to be our best friend on this. So what I did is I just typed in Oahu unit deer. So this is our unit, right? The Oahu unit. And this is what we're going to be chasing. Deer, right? This only, only makes sense. You can, you, you can use several other key terms like unit 67 Oregon deer, um, hunt Oahe, stuff like that, but uh, just for simplicity's sakes, I just, I just decided to say Oahe unit deer. Hit enter, and we're going to find a variety of different things. So things like ODFW, they do uh, what's called unit maps, which is a PDF version of this, um, but since we're going to be using Onyx, or at least I hope that you will be using Onyx, um, you're not going to need the paper copy of the unit, um, but just know that that is available um, if you choose. Um, things like uh, Go Hunt. So Go Hunt is a program that gives you general information about um, different units. Uh, let's hop in here just so you can have an idea of what Go Hunt is. Um, Go Hunt. Again, I'm not paid by Go Hunt, um, but I do know that it's a useful tool. What they do is they break it down um, and they give you snapshots. They say you know it's a, it's a open unit cut by several canyons. They talk about the terrain, the vegetation access, camping and lodging, historical precipitation, temperature, stuff like that. It, it really is a great information, it's, it's a great statistics regarding information about the general area that you're going to be hunting. So if you want to know about how it's going to look in archery, it tells you it's a good time to catch bucks feeding in the first and last half hour to one hour in the morning and sometimes in the evenings. So this really breaks it down, but again, it doesn't give us specific areas that people have found success in the past. It just talks about the entire unit overall. Now, what we're going to be looking for is stuff like this. 
um, right here, Awahi deer, this is eye fish, right? So what we're gonna be looking for is um, places and discussion forums that people have found success in the past and we're gonna be trying to glean information on that. Now when you look at this, so eye fish is a discussion forum, People get together, share information, swap war stories, stuff like that, and they talk about things that they're passionate about. So there's discussion forums for anything from hot rod trucks to hunting, right? If there's, people talk about things that they're interested in. Um, so this is one, uh, you're going to see that um, the date on this one is um, back 2008. Now, a lot of things have changed in 10 years. Right now it's 2018. Things change, people change, um, but at least this will give us a starting point. So this guy says, yep, you guessed it, I'm looking for help deer hunting the Oahe unit. So, I fish. Let's click on that. Let's see what they got. So this guy posted a question like, hey, I want to try mule deer after chasing coast bucks forever. just want general info. Again, I'm, I have to highlight this. I cannot stress this enough that if you... Um, do decide to go onto a, a website called, like iFish or any other hunting discussion forums. If you go in there and your first post is, hey, give me the GPS coordinates on where I can find a, a giant buck in the Oahu unit, that's not going to go well for you, right? It's not going to go well. Now, this guy said, hey, I'm looking for uh, general info. Basically, the same thing we're looking for is information that may lead to better odds of filling a tag. We don't want GPS coordinates. Because frankly, that if that's what you're looking for, you should change your attitude a little bit because you need to be able to put in the work. We want general info so that can get us in the general area and we can you know, do it ourselves. So this guy's asking for general info. Let's see what he says. Um, I've done some checker hunting. The Snucker Creek area has some deer. Find water and deer will be in the area. Get up high in glass. They are there. Okay, so uh, Sucker Creek. So that is more information than we knew before we clicked this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. And then what I will opt to do is I will open up a like Microsoft Word doc. And I'm going to paste that there. And you'll see why here in a minute. I guess, you know, if, if you're following along, you can probably guess on what I'm planning on doing with that. So there's no more. After, oh, there was more after that. I take it back. Let's see what else we got down there. All right. Climb the highest mountain you can find about 3 o'clock in the morning. Hang out there and glass till your eyes fall off. All right. Um, did I mention lots of glassing? Okay, hunted about eight years ago and did very well. Okay, more information than we knew before we started, right? Okay, so uh, let's see what this one says. Right, okay, I did see some deer while I was trekking around the Oahu unit right at Cow Lakes. Feeding next to Lower Cow Lakes. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do, you guessed it. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drop it on here. Uh, we were quite a ways off, didn't break out a spotting scope, so on and so forth. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm doing is you're going to want to find information that people have found success with in the past. And then it's simple as pasting it onto Microsoft Word doc and keeping tabs of who said it. So Ernest E. So I would keep tabs and a little note of that Ernest E. said Cow Lakes. So what do I do? I'm going to take this. And I'm going to copy Ernest E2, and I'm going to go back to my pages, and I'm going to add that. And I'm going to do the same thing with, uh, what's this guy's name? Where did we find that first one? Okay, Idahoan. So the reason I'm doing that, and you'll see here in a moment, is because I want to be able to keep tabs of who said it should I need additional information. Let's go scroll down a little bit further. Nice. Okay, so that's it for this one. So I'll just hide right back, hop right back in here, see if there's anything else that we can find. Okay, look at this, Monster Mealies. Again, another discussion type forum. So um, again, I'm not paid or sponsored by Monster Mealies or iFish. I'm just a fan of what they offer and uh, so just kind of had to throw that out there. Oahe Unit, Oregon. Look at this. Let me guess. Is he going to say uh, a general information? I bet you he will. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Send me a personal email or use my Hotmail account if you prefer, If you like for people that don't want to um, put that stuff out there. Here we go, right here. Right here. What did I just say? I'm not prying for anyone's honey hole, but would appreciate any general info that might be helpful. Again, if you're going to do this, ask for general info. Don't say you want somebody's secret spot that they've been uh, finding success in for the last 30 years. Okay, so let's see if he gets something. All right, but as you know, the country is like, if you get down deep in the canyons, there are some monster muleys, conver deer, hunt the brakes, the Oahe and scout them. They're tremendous animals. Not too much. Congrats on drawing the tag. I'm heading over next week. Good luck this year. Okay, so nothing on that one. But nonetheless, this was in 2005, right? So if I really wanted to, I would keep a note. It says high desert. So I'd say something like monster muleys. Um, user High Desert and Orion 23, and I would keep their information. What I even might do if I'm feeling extra, you know, determined, is create an account here and send them a message. So, hey guys, hey uh, Muley Bucks, um, you know, I, I see that you hunted this back in 2005. Curious if you have any information you'd like to say. Hey High Desert, I see that you hunted this previously. Um, I found your old post, wanted to know if you had any information you'd be willing to share with me. I'm going over there to hunt this year. So you can keep all that information and you'd be pretty surprised if you go in there respectfully and you say, hey, I'm pretty new to this. Um, just wanted to uh, wanted to see if you had anything that you'd like to share. Maybe they will. All right. So see if there's anything else. I just switched around the, uh, the search terms here. Um, okay. So here's another one. Wahi unit. 24-hour campfire, 2009, 14 posts. Let's see what they got. So again, not sponsored by 24-hour campfire, but again, if I can glean information, use their services, create an account, add to the discussion, it's a win for everybody. Um, any help would be appreciated. Big game RS. So let's see what he said. Again, this was in 2009. It's a little bit more recent. Uh, my advice, go to the highest elevation you can find. Okay. Look for water sources, sense of topography, okay. All right, let's just do a quick scan. I would hunt the Oahe Canyon south of the reservoir. Look in sage pockets, big pockets, of yellow grass above the canyon. So again, look what I got. I just got another little tip. It's not solid, it's not perfect, but it's something. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this stuff, and I think you guys are starting to get the point, right? You search these things, you can, these are just the discussion forums, right? So there's a lot of other ways because back in 2009, you know, it wasn't super, uh, super used yet by a lot of hunters. I don't know if you guys have heard of this little thing called Facebook. So keep in mind of, this, of these things, guys. So after I do Google, you know what I might do? I might uh, hop on Facebook, right? I might hop on Facebook and, um, post in a hunting discussion forum and say, hey guys, I'm going to be hunting the Oahe unit pretty soon. Any input? And yeah. just take it how it comes. So again, let's look at what we just got. We got Sucker Creek, we got Cow Lakes, and we got Oahe Canyon south of, south of the reservoir. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to look around until I find these places. Um, just for simplicity's sakes, let's just do this. Let's do add a waypoint. Um, let's say that right here is, what was the first one we had? Sucker Creek. Or how about Cow Lakes? So let's just say that right here is Cow Lakes. So Cow Lakes. And then in my notes, this is why I kept my notes. Ernest E. Copy. So I'm going to say... I think he was on iFish. And Ernest D. All right. So what I would say is, you know, Cow Lakes. Um, I'll even put up here suggestion for Cow Lakes. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to say that's a suggestion. So that way I will start to naturally narrow down the things that I am um, finding. I narrow down the areas that people have found um, success in in the past. 
Another thing before I also forget is you can also go back on here um, on iFish especially and you can use this little thing right here. It's the search feature. And you can search Oahe deer. Let's see if they got that. Odds are they're going to provide a lot more. Oh, I did not. I'm obviously a robot. I'm going to search this Oahe deer. Let's see what they got. So what it's going to do is it's going to provide me with all of the posts and threads that have the keywords Oahe and deer on them. Let's see if iFish gives me something back. Come on, iFish. Make me a successful hunter. See, you see, I only put regular um, unleaded in my computer today, and I didn't put uh, super. Okay. Um, so what I would do is I would then look at all these things. It doesn't look just at first glance. Um, it doesn't look like it's actually going to give me a whole lot. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. So you guys get the picture. You utilize something like Google, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. You go in with a, uh, you know, first step should be the query step, which is you're looking through all the historical stuff. You're searching for people that have hunted it before. Suck the information that you can from their threads, from their posts. Um, keep it on a, you know, it could be a notepad. It could be an Excel spreadsheet, whatever is easiest for you. Take that stuff, plot it on your map. Keep tabs of who said it. And then after that, create accounts. Reach out to these people. Say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking to do this. Any information? You'd be surprised. I've done that a lot, and you'd be surprised at the amount of information people are willing to share. Um, as long as you approach it in a, um, an appropriate and professional manner and, and in a kind manner, don't go thinking that they owe you something because you're doing this, right? Um, they don't have to do anything for you, uh, but the kinder you are, I found um, the uh, kinder they will be, the more information they may be willing to share with you. So... Um, I think that, uh, yeah, between discussion forums, Google, and stuff like Facebook, iFish, um, Monster Mealies, um, and, uh, and other, any other open source queries that you can do, um, that'll oftentimes lead to a higher success in your hunt. Um, so that's it for this one. This was open source. Uh, next one, we're going to be uh, shifting into what I like to call the phone phase of hunting a new unit. We're going to discuss that on the next episode, but for the time being... Um, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And again, my name is Kevin Jones. This is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.